everyone needs to hire, right? If, if you have a business that's growing and you're taking on 250 more clients and you know that you got to have your books done and your emails answered. As entrepreneurs, we all know that there's more to be done. And for 90, even, even Fortune 100 companies, the solution is, oh, more work, more opportunity, go hire people. And what's the number one, you know, the number one thing most people put on a resume is five years of experience. I want someone who knows, and, and all they're saying by saying that is, I don't want to have to train you. I, cause I don't have the capacity. I don't have the time, but that's what causes a lot of employers, whether you're a small guy or a huge fortune 100 company to waste all this time and resource. I mean, to hire someone costs over six figures, right? When you talk about time and downtime and resources from other team members to get them up to speed. So our whole business model and how we're able to stack in that ongoing support is within the virtual staffing space. Almost every other company is just a staffing provider. What do you need? Here, we'll find someone who has a resume that says they do that. You figure it out. But what we and really Rob figured out because this was how he was running a business that was just constantly putting fires out, coming into the office every day, just dreading opening up his own email was like, he realized I'm the issue here. Like, I don't know what I need or how I would train somebody or what exactly their job function would be. So we kind of flipped the whole paradigm on its head to say, if you're hiring, you need to look at your processes and how you operate and the role of each hire before you ever bring another human into that conversation to say, okay, now you do this. So that that kind of dedication to the process piece is what allows us not to just hopefully get you somebody quickly who's more qualified, better suited for the role, but you know we, we feel like it creates a win-win-win. So you get processes and a, and a systematized business that then when you're looking to bring on 250 more clients next year, it's very easy because you can say, okay, I just need two more people here, six more yeah. people here, five more people here. It's very easy. It becomes a numbers game, right? Which is, I feel like every business owner's kind of dream. It's a win for the person you're hiring because they come in and they're not worrying about, you know, former NFL player, Charles, who's got his phone ringing 45 times a day and a hundred With former days. cheerleaders calling me all the time, you know, <laughs> I, yeah, you're right. You're right. But they're not worrying on like how much of their time am I going to get? How much teaching am I going to get? Like th they come in and they've got a playbook that they can jump right into. And it says, here's what I need you to do, how I need you to do it. And here's all the technology you're doing it in. Now go. So it empowers them to be successful. Because I've, I've never hired someone where on day one, they wanted to be a crappy employee, right? Usually we turn people into crappy employees. So it gives them empowerment in their role. And then for us to help support the clients, because we literally help our clients build out and document what they want done and how they want it done, we can then roll that into management support because we actually understand what the goal is, what each role is doing, what are the KPIs, what are the metrics, what does success look like? We, you know, when Charles says this, what does that actually mean? Like we're able to kind of play that middleman. So it's just more efficient across the board. And so that hopefully, and hopefully you feel this as a partner, we're like, we have like an active, you know, stake in not just the success of your team, but the success of the business by helping you kind of become more process oriented and therefore hire, you know, better people.